What did your policy makers and practitioners need to know about the importance of birth parents' voices? One of the biggest things that a birth parent has and the most powerful things that a birth parent has is actually our voices. The importance of our birth parent voices is that we are the experts in our children's life. We are the ones who gave birth to our children. We are the ones who, who some of us are fortunately um, able to raise our children for a little bit. So we are the experts in our children's life. We are the voice of our children. No matter whose care they're in, the parents are the family. The mother is the one that carried the baby for nine months and the mother is the one who, you know, brought the little baby into the world and that um, nobody can ever change that. Well, parents can't take opportunities that they're not given. Nine times out of ten, they want to do better. They're just overwhelmed and don't have that help to be able to do the things they need to do. I think that they need to understand, listen and work together with the parents for the best outcome for the whole family. Um, they need to understand and acknowledge each case as individual and not alienate the parent. And I believe it's extremely important to hear the parent's story of what's happened or still happening, as not all reports that come through are true. Policy makers and practitioners need to know the importance of working together as a team of the parent and child's current situation to understand and be on the same page as the parent. Because the, the family's going through a big trauma right now and this is the time when they need more support than ever. What is the one thing that could have made or did make a huge difference to your experience of child and family services contact? For myself, I had a very positive experience. Um, having my services communicate effectively, not only with myself, but with each other. Involving myself within the decision making, understanding that the family, um, understanding the family unit as a whole, um, and not judging my current or my past decisions. So it is really, really important that um, workers and that understand that taking children is not the best thing. It's giving the parents the help and the, and the guidance that they need to get through. Well, this time around, um, IFAS made a big difference. Having an um, advocate support person there really made a huge difference. For me, the one thing that did make the most difference, a huge difference, um, being engaged with child protection and working with services was actually being supported without judgment and acknowledged for the things that I was good at. I think the one thing that could have made a major difference was if the procedures were followed correctly. I believe my children would not have been taken ever or even if they were, they would have been reunited quickly with the correct help instead of hindrance. The result for my little grieving family has been devastating. One thing that made a huge difference to my experience with child protection and family services was understanding my situation, liaising together and working to the main goal by bringing my child home. To able to see my son, um, not to be completely out of the whole picture, it was really hard mentally, physically and emotionally for me because of having my son for all my life and then suddenly him just taken. What are you most proud of through your participation in Voice of Parents? So the thing that I'm most proud of um, with participating in Voice of Parents is actually allowing myself to be vulnerable, to share my story um, on an amazing project, knowing that I am part of a team that is paving the way for other birth parents' voices to be heard. What I'm most proud of being part of this program is to have my experience with services and child protection hurt and changes to be made. Um, I'm proud of how far our group has really gone. It's been absolutely excellent. Um, things have been brought up and we're all got different experiences and we're, I'm very proud of how we all work together and and this model has been made from that, that meetings and yeah, I'm so proud of everything that we've all done. Oh, look, I'm most proud that um, 
I know the system isn't great and I know it hasn't been great for a long time and there's been a lot of room for improvement. And finally, I, I can actually help improving it. The thing that I am most proud of in my participation with the voice of parents is that I have been brave enough to actually share my experience. Uh, obviously going through child protection, having your children removed is not pleasant. It's, it's not something you necessarily care to reminisce on. I was very lucky that my children were returned to my care, but the process was so, so difficult. And so as a follow up to that, I'm also proud that I've been able to be in a space where other parents have been able to share their experiences and that that information is going to be used in a really practical way to make it easier for other parents. I'm most proud about being involved in the project of Voice of Parents. I was listened to and hearing others, other mothers' lived experiences. Hopefully this has made a change to the system and how child protection works in general. It was a great experience. The thing that I'm most proud of being a participant in the voice of parents is actually being heard, having a voice and being listened to. Hopefully relevant changes will be made and no other children or parents will have to go through what my twins or myself have. I'm very proud of myself. I never thought that I could ever come this far after everything that I've been through with my son and everything. I never thought that I could ever discuss all this. And I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud that I actually got into this, to do this. And it's made me much a stronger person and made me want to help other people now.